Live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. And tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Charlotte Hornets here at Spectrum Center. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Ali LaForce in a moment. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You look at New York, towards the bottom of the conference for now, they are not happy with this positioning. And of course, there are the Hornets, half a game behind. And to look at the starters for the Knicks, Barrett is the three, Randall the four. Jalen Brunson is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Robinson in at the center position. And for the Hornets, we've got Washington, Ball is out there with Terry Rozier. Then there's Nick Richards, and it's Miller in at the three. Well, Grant, we're still early on in the season here, but you feel like you've got a good sense of these teams yet? Absolutely no. I mean, it's too early right now to tell. Now, some teams are still kind of coming into their own, so I think we need a few more games before we get a real sense of who the contenders are this year. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. Brunson against Rozier. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Right side, Brunson. Randall, the pass to Brunson. Shot clock at five. Randall, a screen on Washington. Good chance here for Barrett. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Yeah, look at Barrett being resourceful on offense. Not passing up those mid-range shot opportunities. Rogier against Brunson. Rogier, the pass to Ball. Takes it inside. And Ball throws it down. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Now here's Brunson. 17 points in his last outing. Brunson against Ball. Pass to Miller. The three from Washington. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. That was silky smooth there by Washington. Only takes him a few seconds to lock and load. Quickly passes to Barrett. Brunson with it. Back to Barrett. Quickly against Ball. Takes a 13-footer. Richards pulls it in. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Miller, the pass to Rozier. Quickly with the ball. Checked by Washington. The 11-footer. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. Brunson against Rozier. Pass to Washington. From 10 feet away. He can't get that one to fall. Some solid defense from Brunson. With his size and skill set, Julius Randle can be a walking mismatch. You put a big man on him, and he will blow right by him. Now, if you go small, he'll drag him to the block. So when Randle is focused and involved, he is a monster to deal with. Free throw good from Brunson. The last few seasons, the Knicks have had a defensive-minded approach. And that's been the key for them getting back into the postseason, B.A. I mean, they play great team defense and pride themselves on getting stops. For New York, they've gone one of four to begin this one. Up top, Robinson. Pass to Barrett. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And we're starting to see some fire from Barrett. A tremendous sign for this team. Ball outside. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. To the wing, right side. Here's Miller. Ooh, Robinson with a block. And they're able to recover from deep. Ooh, nice shot by Miller. And there's a reason Miller was a volume three-point shooter in college, because he's extremely accurate. The Knicks have gone two for five here in the first. 
Hall against Quickly. Outside Brunson. Pass to Randall. Over Washington. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. E.J. Washington picks one up. Well, the creative finishing ability of Randall draws a lot of fouls. Free throw drops for Randall. And, you know, the impressive ascension of Randall has been a lot of fun to watch. I mean, he's a double-double threat who plays with relentless energy. And the Hornets making a change here. Williams is checked in. Makes the first, but misses the second. Well, Grand Hornets head coach Steve Clifford said that the team needs to start winning if they want to keep LaMelo Ball. And he's not wrong, B.A. I mean, they view Ball as the cornerstone of the franchise, but they have to give him a reason to stay. He is indeed a special talent, and winning is his ultimate priority. Now here's quickly. No point so far. Pass to Brunson. Shoots over Rozier. Brunson misses. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Williams, a screen on Brunson. Rozier, the pass to Williams. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Rozier showing you nice feel for recognizing that one of his guys was wide open and got him the ball. Randall outside. The teardrop tipped. A deep three from Ball. Randall pulls down the board. New York trailing. Outside Brunson. That shot off the mark. Some solid defense from Williams. And it's Rogier with the ball for the Hornets. Victory eluded them last time in New York when they faced the Knicks. Offensively, it was never their night. The issues they suffered were pretty clear. Yeah, the offense was a wall. It just wasn't there. No rhythm, no flow, just a tough day. So it's the Knicks now. Here's Barrett outside Robinson. Randall right side. Good work defensively by Richards. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Ball passes to Williams, and Williams punches it home. And you cannot leave anybody open on Ball's team because this guy is excellent at finding his teammates. Time out, time out. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Now a timeout called by New York. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard and see which teams have been the NBA's best in the rebounding department. The Knicks, second. This team has done a great job of hitting the boards, and they do tremendous work boxing out. Here's Barrett. His last outing, he had 18 points. Pass to Brunson. Now quickly, from behind the arc. Ball with the rebound. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Rozier against Brunson. 
Williams passes to Ball. Shot clock at six. Rozier from outside. The Knicks pull it in. An eight-point differential. Here's quickly. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. Ball with it. A real weapon on offense. Averaging around 24 and a half a game. Pass to Miller. This one for three. Here's Williams. He got a piece of it. Well, you can't go up weak against Randall. Otherwise, he's going to block. Over to the left wing. And another shot. It's rebounded by New York. Randall's got four rebounds now. Left side, Barrett. Randall with it. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And they're a solid rebounding team. It's not something they stress necessarily, but they have the talent and size to get their fair share of boards. And circling back to those block numbers, this squad has been all about protecting the rim this season. That spot in the top ten for blocks is proof that it's working for them. Now here's Ball. He had a 39-point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. Yeah, what about his work on the glass? I mean, he was an all-around contributor to a winning effort. Just five to shoot. Here's Rozier. Nails it with a hand in his face. And the Hornets lead by eight. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Down low. Here's Barrett. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, Grant, for R.J. Barrett, he pretty much knew he was going to be an NBA player. Oh, B.A., he sure did. And the number one prospect out of high school in Florida in 2018. Did his one and done in college at Duke and followed it up with the number three overall pick. And he has definitely delivered. And he makes a first. And you watch Charlotte. Boy, they play with pace, Grant. Oh, B.A., they tend to get a lot of shots up. Heavy volume team. But when those shots are falling, they can compete against anyone. Gordon Hayward, he's checked in for LaMelo Ball. Hart's checked in for New York. No good on the second free throw. And with Barrett, we know he can score the ball. Now he must focus on becoming a better passer and facilitator. was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Charlotte? They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. And the free throw, no good. An all-star back in 2017. Gordon Hayward remains a quality player, Clark. Yeah, you know, because of his versatility, I think it allows him to still be a high-level player, even now that he's not as ball-dominant as he was in Utah. He still contributes and does so effectively. Now here's Hayward. A really disappointing game for him in that loss to Milwaukee. Quickly against Rozier. Back to Hayward. Shoots over Hart. And Hayward gets it to go on the assist by Rozier. And the Hornets lead by eight. The three C's, calm, cool, and collected. Hayward's a good shooter with a hand in his face. He knows how to make tough shots. Quickly finds Barrett. Pulls up on the wing. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got four rebounds in the game. The way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now here's Rozier. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. He didn't make it all about himself. His passing was sharp, and he kept everyone involved. Quickly against Rozier. Quickly passes to Robinson. Back 
to quickly. Richards pulls it in. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this badly. Hayward's shot is off. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Free throw drops for quickly. Nilakina, he's checked in for Charlotte. Hardenstein, he's checked in for New York. Grimes comes in for Barrett. And here's Randall. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. They trail by seven. Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. I really didn't see much of an edge from them. A little more intensity could have gone a long way. Yeah, you know, to me, I agree. They just never looked engaged, which is surprising considering how close the game ended up being. First one falls for him. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for New York. Both free throws good from Hayward. New York has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Outside Hart. From downtown. The Hornets pull it in. Richards has got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Nelikina. Hayward outside. Williams a screen on Hart. Pass to Rozier. Just four to shoot. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Hayward for three. Drops in the three. Hayward's got nine. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Now here's Randall. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Wizards in Washington. The relentlessness of Randall. R squared taking on all comers. Here's Rozier. 10-point lead. Williams, a screen on DiVincenzo. Rozier, the pass to Williams. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. That free throw, no good. Martin, he's checked in for Charlotte. Ball comes in for Nilakina. Sims, he's checked in for New York. Jalen Brunson comes in for DiVincenzo. Good on the second one. A minute 39 left in the first. Pass to Sims. Here's Hartenstein. Here's Grimes. Williams defending. Grimes shot is off. Charlotte has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. And here's Ball. Rozier outside. 
Williams, a screen on Brunson. Let's it go. Rozier gets the bucket. And the Hornets lead by 13. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Hardenstein. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Martin outside. Here's Rozier. And another basket for Charlotte. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. New York has gone one of four from deep. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. To the wing on the left. Sims, the pass to Grimes. Hard against ball. Here's Brunson. New York, no good that time either. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Hart from long range sends it home from three-point land. One of Hart's favorite shots there, guys. Excellent recognizing when he has the room to pull the trigger. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. It's the Hornets leading by 14. And we'll be back right after this. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a very convincing performance from the Hornets so far. Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. We've had many impactful European players throughout the years, Clark. What makes their style of play so different? You know, I think it's really how they're trained from the time they start playing the game, B.A. Every player, regardless of size, is taught to think and feel and play the game fundamentally sound. And I love that. I think that's something that should be mimicked in the States. Train kids to play the game the right way in all aspects of it, no matter how small or tall they are. Gordon Hayward is out there with ball. And it's Nilakina in at the three. The small forward. That's the Hornets five. To the paint. Here's McGowan's. Fades back. And it's Windler with the rebound. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Outside Brunson. Back to Hart. Pass to Hartenstein. He's now one for two with that bucket. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Now ball. He has six. Williams, a screen on Brunson. Over to the wing. Here's McGowan's. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got three assists tonight. And Ball definitely has the passing DNA. Some of his dime drops are really sweet. Ball against Brunson. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now.
free throw good from Brunson. And each year, Brunson seems to get better. And that's a testament to his impressive work ethic and drive. And the Knicks making a change here. Fournier's checked in. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. Charlotte has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Nilakina, the pass to Williams. Now here's Hayward. Outside, Williams. Pass to Ball. And Hayward gets it to go on the assist by Ball. Hayward's got 11 points. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And the Knicks with the possession here. The Hornets making their last shot. Here's Hart. From behind the arc. Ball with the rebound. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Now here's Hayward. And stolen by Brunson. Jumps up. And he hammers it home to polish off the break. Brunson's defense has improved over the years. He's got the instincts and the hands to make impact plays just like that one. And Hayward has got the ball here for the Hornets. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It was poor efficiency scoring the ball. They needed too many attempts to get their points. Yeah, and I think they just seem to be a page behind. A step slower out there all game. Here's Brunson outside. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Williams has got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Ball. Hartenstein pulls it in. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Boy, LaMelo Ball is such a special young talent, Clark. What stands out most to you? Well, I like his length. He's a rangy point guard, but it's how dynamic he is, B.A. He's also got deep shooting range. Let's see some of the numbers here for Emmanuel quickly. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. That free throw good from Brunson. So for the Hornets, Washington comes in for McGowan's. And Miller subbed in for Nilakina. Mitchell Robinson, he's checked in for New York. Quickly comes in for Hart. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Pass to Hayward. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Miller. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Miller's got six. In general, they're finding good looks from beyond the arc. Steadily improving as this game's going along. For New York, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Brunson passes to Quickly. Back to Brunson. Pass to Quickly. Here's Grimes. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Grimes has got his first three points of the game. Charlotte has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, LaMelo Ball's shooting touch was questioned coming into the league, but it's been pretty steady. He said, quote, I think I'm a great shooter. I've had it since a young age. I feel every shot I take is going to go in, and my confidence is really high. He said, I practice these shots. It's all in the snap of the wrist and the follow-through. Brian? Ooh, very interesting. A flick of the wrist. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. For New York, they've gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Brunson passes to Grimes. Pass to Hartenstein. The three ball. Miller pulls it in. 
Charlotte's gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Here's Hayward. And the Knicks with the rebound. And here's Quickly. 23 points for him last game against Washington. Boy, he was piling up those assists in that one. I mean, every pass seemed to be on time and on target. Now here's Ball. It's a 14-point game. Pass to Miller. To the middle. Here's Washington. Hartenstein pulls it in. New York has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Quickly against Hayward. On the wing quickly. His numbers are solid, putting up around 18 points a game. Oh, what a pass. Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. Hayward against quickly. Hayward, the pass to ball to get back on track. Some solid defense from Brunson. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. Here's Grimes. 17 points for him. Last game against the Wizards in Washington. Six to shoot. The three. Brunson misses. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. The three is up. A oh, nice shot by Grimes. Grimes has got six points. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. And the Hornets with possession here. They led by as many as 18. Pass to Miller. Washington outside. Here's Grimes. He has six. Now Robinson. Stolen by Ball. To the inside. And Williams punches it home. Well, I tell you what, the big guy knows how to do that. Throw it down. For New York, they've gone five of ten in the second quarter. Down low. Here's Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. And the find by Brunson. More than capable of running the offense. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Grant, you had an incredible career. Two-time college champ, seven-time All-Star. But tell me where owner ranks in your career resume. You know, B.A., it's very fascinating. The, the main reason I wanted to open the door for other ex-players to get equity in teams, I do believe ownership groups should involve ex-players and listen to us. You know, and I think that is where the league is ultimately heading. Charlotte making some changes. Richards is checked in for Williams. Milikina comes in for Hayward. And Terry Rozier subbed in for LaMelo Ball. Here's Rozier. Six points for him. Pass to Milikina. Back to Rozier. Here's Nilakina. He's covered by Hart. Rozier with it. Over quickly. Rozier gets the bucket. Rozier's got eight points. How about Terry Rozier flashing the in-between game? Nice. And Barrett has got the ball here for New York. 11-point game. Randall on the screen. There's the triple. Miller pulls it in. Charlotte has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. There's the drive. Pass to Nilakina. Shoots over Hart. Nilakina misses. 
For New York, they've gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Outside Hart. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Randall with a steal. Barrett passes to Hart. Sinks the tray. Give him eight points now. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Now here's Rozier. Give him eight. Pass to Nilakina. Now Richards. Now Rozier. Second chance shot. Right wing. Here's Miller. Again the miss by the Hornets. Free throw drops for quickly. Grimes, he's checked in for Hart. For New York, they've gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. Now here's Barrett. Not a lot of room. On the take. Boom! He jams it straight down. Sometimes he can be a bit passive, so it's nice to see RJ is forcing the issue. And the Hornets with possession here. They led by as many as 18. Milikina, the pass to Rozier. Washington, a screen on quickly to the middle. Randall with a steal. That one rolls around and rims out. Yeah, just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Here's Miller. He's got six. Washington, left side. Five to shoot. Here's Miller. And the shot's good. Miller's got his third basket on the night right there. He's turned it on here in the second quarter, getting his offensive game on track. 127 left in the first half of this one. Here's Barrett. Quickly from outside. The Hornets pull it in. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Rozier with it. Now quickly defending. Pass to Washington. Here's Nilakina. Hey, from beyond the arc. Deflected. There's 57 seconds left in the first half. Outside Barrett. Hook it. And it's Randall with the assist. Barrett's got four points this quarter. And I love the confidence from Barrett. He enjoys finding room inside and capitalizing. The Hornets with a lead. Over to the left wing. Rozier against Quickly. And Rozier, here we go. And no good. Ooh, excellent D there from Quickly. And we haven't seen them pound the ball inside and draw as much contact this quarter. Yeah, that's a good observation on your part. Fewer free throw attempts for them this quarter. And the danger is they can't afford to get too comfortable out there because they've got the lead. Otherwise, it might start to get away from them. Quickly against Rogier. Pass to Washington. Here's Nilakina. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Shoot two. No 
No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's the Hornets up by four. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ball game? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. And, folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Welcome. First up on the agenda tonight, let's see how the Rookie of the Year race is shaping up. I love what I'm seeing from Holmgren. He has a, sort of an effortless way of taking over. The game just comes naturally to him. Yeah, he stood out, man. I'm telling you, he's got to be excited about his future, these teams. This guy is unbelievable. Now let's change gears back to the New York Knicks, who find themselves in a tightly contested ball game. Great job minimizing turnovers, making the simple pass. Not trying to do too much. Yeah, the inclination is to press too hard sometimes. They certainly letting the game come to them. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Hey, it's been quite a game for Gordon Hayward. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And on the floor for Tom Thibodeau as we get into the second half. Randall and Robinson are the tandem inside. Jalen Brunson is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Barrett in at the small forward position. Love the confidence from this young man. Miller's so quick off the catch. New York trailing. Randall with it. Quickly outside. And that's a foul called on P.J. Washington. That's his third foul of the game. Here's Brunson. Check out Brunson going to work inside. Inside Brunson is pretty deadly. Just dropping his shot in. Ball against Quickly. 14 feet away, and it's good. Two points. Ball's got eight. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. And you don't see many six, seven point guards, but that's not all that stands out with the mellow ball, Grant. Yeah, not just a creator. He's a creative with the artistic inspiration to make plays that most of us couldn't envision, much less accomplish. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the inside. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Now here's Richards. Still without a bucket. Robinson with the block. Quickly passes to Brunson. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Connects from downtown. He's got nine. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. Here's Miller, guarded by Barrett. Ball passes to Miller. Back to ball. 
Over quickly. Oh, love to see Ball attack inside. Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. And Brunson's got the ball here for the New York Knicks. Trailing by four. Next up, they'll face the Timberwolves in Minnesota. That'll put the finishing touches on a five-game road trip. It's rebounded by Charlotte. They led by as many as 18. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. And Ball gets it to go. Boy, making it look very easy. Ball has been unguardable tonight. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Quickly outside. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Richards has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Pass the ball. Here's Miller, guarded by Barrett. Here's Miller. 11 points in the game. Shot clock at three. Rozier. Quickly with a rebound. Quickly's got five rebounds in the game. Rozier against Brunson. Randall is screen on Rozier. And it's rejected. And they recover it. Brunson surveys. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. You know, there aren't many players who are more efficient in the pick and roll than Jalen Brunson. I mean, he has mastered that set. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. And let's take a look at the first-year players who have really brought it on the offensive end. Here are the NBA's leading rookie scorers. You look at Miller, the fourth-best scorer in the NBA. Man, can he pour it in. And it's always hard to predict how easily young players will adapt to the league. But on the offensive end, he's really hit the ground running. Well, you know, hey, as a rookie, it's always hard to earn the respect of coaches, but he's earned every minute he's gotten this season. It's a terrific offensive threat. Richards with it, working on Robinson. And the shot goes down. Richards has got his first bucket in this one. The Knicks have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Outside Robinson. Randall outside. Outside Barrett. Launches a three. Hornets with the rebound. Richards has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. They are just owning the boards right now. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Now here's Richards. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. New York has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Quickly outside. Here's Brunson. And the shot goes. Brunson's got 11 points. His first half performance, somewhat forgettable, but now he's pouring it on. The Hornets have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Ball outside. Washington outside. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got rebound number eight now. Inside. Here's Barrett. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. You know, they've been knocking down What's triples, up? too. They've continued to make the most of their opportunities from behind the arc as well. And that one misses. Charlotte's got six out of 15-3 so far in this game. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. 
The Knicks are in the nation's media capital, but Coach Tom Thibodeau said, I've never felt pressure. I've been at this a long time. I approach it the same way. I put everything I have into each and every day. I'm willing to live with that result. There's no one, no one who studies this team harder than I do. No, he has made the difference for sure. Thanks, Allie. We got to see that one again. That block was all out effort. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. And the Knicks making a change here. Grimes is checked in. Now Ball. 12 points for him. Pass to Richards. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Here's quickly. The Hornets making their last shot. Just five on the clock. Back to Randall. Here's the three. Williams grabs the board. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. Williams, a screen on Brunton. Ball passes to Williams. And Williams punches it home. And he's now got the double-double. Setting the team made up nicely out of the two-man game that time. Ball provides style and substance with his brilliant playmaking. Randall, a screen on Rozier. Randall outside. Launches it. Yes. And a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got six assists here tonight. In full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for them. Timeout call. The Hornets. Gordon Hayward, he's checked in for ball. And they got a spot at the top ten when it comes to hampering the opposing offense. They create solid coverage that doesn't allow for a lot of easy shots. And just to touch on their rebounding again, the energy they put into that aspect of the game is remarkable. A lot of what they do starts with their work on the glass. And it's Rozier with the ball for Charlotte. They led by as many as 18. Pass to Williams. Here's Miller. He's got 11. Clock at 6. Rozier from outside. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got his sixth rebound on the night. Brunson with it. Here's Grimes. He's got six. Back to Brunson. Pass to Randall. Back to Robinson. Over Hayward. Hornets with the rebound. And here's Rozier. Give him eight. Hayward with it. And here's Richards. Williams with it. Robinson defending. Rozier from outside. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Quickly outside. Pass to Robinson. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Charlotte Hornets. On Monday, they'll be facing Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. And then on Wednesday, they'll host the Washington Wizards. And you know for that matchup with the Magic, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more even pairing in the league. That one promises to be a really closely fought battle. Hayward, the pass to Richards. That shot off. For New York, they've gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Robinson, a screen on Rozier. Quickly finds Brunson. Randall outside. Six on the shot clock. 
Robinson passes to Grimes. Now here's Randall for the tie. Richards pulls it in. Now here's Rozier. Give him eight points now. Pass to Williams. Shoots over Robinson. Here's Hayward. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Hardenstein, he's checked in for New York. New York has gone two for five from three since halftime. Quickly from outside, Richards pulls it in. Richards has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Now here's Randall. Nine points in the game. Pass to Hartenstein. Here's Grimes. To the paint. It's stolen. Hayward outside. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And let's quickly glance at who in this year's rookie class is leading their group in blocks this season. You look at Miller, top five in block shots. He challenges everything. Blocking ability like his is very coveted in the league, and he shows no fear clashing at the rim against experienced finishers. Well, he does such a good job of positioning himself, so you have a hard time getting shots over him. One of the best of all rookies denying the rim. Hart's checked in for quickly. Both free throws good from Hayward. New York trailing. Outside Brunson. Hard against Hayward. Now here's Hart. Guarded closely. Here's Hardenstein. The rebound by McGowan's. Charlotte is going just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Rozier, the pass to Williams. And there's the rejection. Here they come with numbers in transition. Pass to Randall. Outside Brunson. Uncovered. And he knocks the jumper down. Brunson's got nine points in the quarter. Boy, Hart is one of those guys you look at and you can just see the team is first with him. Never hesitates to find the open guy. Well, when Josh Hart gets going, his confidence skyrockets, Grant. That seems to be the key for him. Well, his floor game is special regardless. I mean, the rebounding and defense are his bread and butter, B.A. And when he's hitting shots, he becomes the complete package on the wing. One shot. Free throw good from Brunson. And the Hornets making a change here. Ball's checked in. And a switch here also for New York. DiVincenzo's checked in. New York has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Randall, the pass to Grimes. To the inside. Here's Hart. Count it. Hart's got ten. You know, getting inside and doing damage there really elevates Hart's game, and I like to see him be that kind of all-around threat. Now here's Hayward. He's got 13. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Knicks. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. Boy, I've liked the defensive persistence, hounding the opposition and forcing mistakes as a result coming up with steals, too. Got 
And so Ball nails both of them. Hey, the steady improvement LaMelo's made as a distributor and team leader, that's um, pretty admirable. He's becoming more and more of a go-to guy. Hart from long range. Williams grabs the board. The Hornets with the lead. Hayward outside. 105 left in the third quarter. Here's Ball. He drills the baseline jumper. Ball's got 10 points here in the second half. Hey, the mid-range can be touch and go for Ball, but he takes a nice smooth shot that time. Outside Hart. DiVincenzo on the wing. Pounded by Ball. Hartenstein a screen. Good chance here for DiVincenzo. And no good. His first shot of the night. Missing. Charlotte has gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. Well, I tell you, that was double duty right there. He influenced the shot and then got back and cleaned the glass. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Hart. For three, Randall sinks it from distance. Randall's got six here in the quarter. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. And Ball will bring it up here for the Hornets. He's off on the layup. Boy, the upside Di Vincenzo has is obvious. I mean, now it's up to him to continue working on his game and keep getting better. But if it goes, that shot is off. It's been all about Jalen Brunson for the New York Knicks. He put together 10 points in the quarter. More 2K action in just a moment. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Ball is out there with Gordon Hayward. And it's Williams in at center, filling out the middle. That's the Hornets five. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. Extremely impressive was the rally they made. I mean, we'll see how much their comeback might have taken out of them. And, and we'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Ball really confident, even amongst the big fellows inside, which is why he's able to draw these fouls. And that one falls for Ball.
Both shots good from the strike. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. And that efficiency, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Hart can't hit. Charlotte trailing. Ball outside. Pass to Nilakina. Now Hayward. Just five to shoot. Driving to the basket. And he drops in the layup off the glass. In describing Hayward as a scorer, I think a good word is determined. I mean, he'll take contact if he has to. And whatever it takes to get his points, he's willing to do. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Brunson against Ball. The kick out to Fournier. Back to Hartenstein. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Although Fournier is known primarily for his shooting, he's a team player who also looks to distribute to his teammates. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Here's Nelikina. Hayward, left side. Pass to Nelikina. The three is up. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. Here's McGowan's. Count it and the foul. That's on Evan Fournier. You know, that was an excellent play right there. Using his strength to power through contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. Richards has checked in for Charlotte. Smith comes in for Hayward. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Quickly is checked in for Fournier. And really strong at the line since the break. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Brunson against Smith. Left side Brunson. Here's Grimes. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. Brunson's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Brunson against Smith. Pass to McGowan's. Back to Smith. And here's Ball. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to go on Emmanuel quickly. Hanging tough. Ball does not let the foul stop him completely. Man, that one falls for Ball. Finally getting himself to the free throw line. He was sitting back in the first half with no free throws to show for it. Nilakina, he's checked in for Charlotte. And so Ball nails both of them. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Now timeout, a timeout, timeout called by New York. Started. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Tom Thibodeau coaching his team during that last break. He was very encouraging with his guys, saying to them, we are still in this one. Don't give up right now. Get out there and let's grab this lead from them. Guys, let's see if the intensity picks up here. Okay, thank you, Allie. To the middle. 
there's the block. Smith against Brunson. Here's Nelikina. That three's off the mark. The Knicks have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Good on the bucket. Grimes has got five points now in the quarter. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. And so it's Charlotte with it. Following the bucket by the Knicks. Ball right side. Pass to Smith. Now Ball, guarded by Quickly. And Ball with the basket. The assist by Smith. Ball's got 17 now, just in the second half. The Knicks have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Smith against Brunson. Inside, Hartenstein. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Here's Smith. Following the bucket by the Knicks. Outside, Williams. And Ball throws it down. Ball exploding off the floor for a big slam. The young fellow's got some pretty good hops on it. Outside, Brunson. Looking to get it going. And it's quickly with a miss. For Charlotte, they've gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Ball passes to Williams. Shots blocked! And now the Knicks on the break. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. Charlotte has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Smith against Brunson. Richards with a screen. Smith passes to Richards. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. I think it's really wise to get Smith involved in pick and roll action because he's got tremendous vision and he's a willing passer. The Knicks have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Brunson. Williams grabs the board. Williams is... Ball surveys the floor. Smith with it. Back to Ball. Ball's doubled. Clock at 6. To the wing, right side. Oh, trying his luck from deep. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Hart. So for the Hornets, Washington's checked in for Williams. Miller comes in for Nilakina. And it's Rozier in for Smith. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Fournier's checked in. New York trailing. Pass to quickly. Yes, and a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Ball with it. Richards with a screen. Ball passes to Richards. Yep, that one goes. Richards has got four points this quarter. He didn't have a single point in the first half. Bagel, zero points, nada. But he's starting to get into the groove here in the second. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Oh, nice D from Rozier. The Hornets have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Boy, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. And great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Brunson against Rozier. Randall a screen on Rozier. Let's a floater go. And a nice layup by Brunson. Brunson's got 12 points here in the second half. 
Such a strong floater game. Just another part of Brunson's expanding arsenal. Here's Rozier. Pass to Richards. On the wing, Rozier. Brunson defending. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. The Knicks have gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Rozier against Quickly. Robinson passes to Brunson to take the lead. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. As bad as he was in the first half, that's how good he's been since. Up top, Rozier. Brunson defending. Ball. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor. And misses like that are the reason why. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. Charlotte trailing. Rozier outside. Pass to Miller. Back to Rozier. Shot clock at six. And ball with the basket on the assist by Rozier. Rozier's got nine assists now tonight. Now Brunson. Randall is screen on Rozier. Brunson passes to Randall. It's stolen by Washington. And it's the Hornets on the break. Shoots over Randall. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. The Knicks shooting just a phenomenal clip. 59% here in the fourth. Barrett can't hit. Charlotte has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Richards with a screen. Ball passes to Richards. Randall with some nice D. The Knicks with the lead. Outside Brunson for three. Richards pulls it in. <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's ball. Down low. Washington. And Washington powers it through. Pressure gets to some people. Bothers them, but not Washington. Tremendous concentration in that big moment. And for New York, they're shooting at about 44% so far. Robinson, a screen on ball. Here's quickly. It's tipped. And they get it back. Goes back up. And Robinson finishes it off. And the Knicks lead by one. Tremendous momentum building toward those final possessions. Yeah, with eight lead changes so far, it feels like this is going to come down to the last shot. Now here's Rozier. Pass to Richards. Back to Rozier. Now here's Richards. Robinson defending. Six to shoot. Here's Rozier. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Outside Barrett. Here's Robinson. Hounded by Ball. Robinson against Ball. For three, Randall. Richards pulls it in. And for Charlotte, they're shooting at even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Washington's shot is good. Clever dribble move by Washington. Threw off the defender there. Washington's gone three of seven shooting from the field. Rozier against Brunson. Pass to quickly. Randall outside. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. Even though he's not the tallest power forward, Washington does have good bounce and a long reach. Plays bigger than he is. Here's Rozier. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Ball's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. 
Brunson against Rozier. On the wing quickly. Fires in the triple. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now here's Ball. Rozier, the pass to Richards. The three from Washington. And it's Brunson with the rebound. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. Inside goes Brunson. Count it! <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. 55 seconds left to play in the fourth. Quickly against Ball. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Good on the first. And that narrows the gap to one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Needed those and got them. Terrific job at the line under pressure. Now a timeout called by New York. Forty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Huge moment here. You have to stay calm in these situations. Pass to Miller. Washington inside. Randall's there. Tries again. Money! No matter the situation, Washington up for the challenge. Now a timeout called by New York. They trail by two. 23 seconds left to play in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? A chance to tie it up here. A critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw up. Three seconds left in the fourth. Outside Brunson. Randall outside. Puts up a three. Misses the tray. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, no, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. Exactly. I mean, you got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. In all aspects of this game, Ball has a lot of confidence. And that's exactly what he needs right now in this situation. It's all about getting a three right here. No doubt. I mean, the next shot has to be a three. Boy, this young kid is fun. Randall proven at the moment, not too big for him. Time called here. The Hornets decide to talk it over.
Here's Rozier. Oh, had a chance to win it right there. Couldn't get it to fall. Regulation has ended, and we are headed to overtime. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. P.J. Washington out there with Nick Richards. Then there's LaMelo Ball. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Miller in at the three slot. To the middle. And Randall the bucket on the assist by Quickly. Well, he's a wrecking ball on offense. Randall, so good at finishing inside. Here's Rozier. Pass the ball. Oh, Robinson with a block. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession. Brunson against Rozier. The three from Washington. Give him that one. Now shooting five for 11 from the floor. Boy, he's a stretch four now with a dangerous outside shot. Washington loves letting that one fly from there. Brunson passes to Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. That gives him a double-double in this one. And <laughs> once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. So it's the Hornets now following the bucket by the Knicks. Here's Richards. Three-pointer, no good. And here's Randall. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. They lead by one. Kicks it to quickly. Fires for three. Another possession. Another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. We are in OT. A minute and a half gone by and what has been a great one. Here's Miller. Guarded by Barrett. Here's Ball. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. That one drops for him. And now it's a six-point Nick lead. And so effective from these in-between spots. Brunson doesn't need much room to feel comfortable. And Rozier, here we go. Pass to Quickly. The three. The Hornets pull it in. Washington outside. Now Richards. Here's Ball. On the wing, Rozier. Brunson defending. Down to five on the shot clock. To end the run. Miller can't get it to go. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. And it's quickly with a miss. Charlotte has gotten one of three shots to fall from deep in OT. To the inside. Washington. Robinson with the block. We're now about three minutes into this overtime period. Pass to Quickly. Another shot. Robinson passes to Quickly. Barrett with it. Three-pointer. Kicks it to Quickly. Now here's Barrett. And here's Brunson from the arc. Yes, sir! Brunson for three. And, man, you got to appreciate how efficient Brunson is. I mean, he takes and makes high-percentage shots. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. 
They're down by nine. 143 left in overtime. Quickly against Ball. Pass to Washington. Over Brunson. And Washington with the basket. On the assist by Ball. Washington's got five points now this quarter. Randall against Washington. Outside Robinson. Now quickly. From the arc. And again. New York with the triple. They're starting to pull away here as their shots keep falling. Yeah, I agree with you. A big run taking place right now, and it looks to be the beginning of the end. Now here's Ball. Pass to Rozier. Takes the three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Robinson's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. It's clear now how this is going to end, and I'm not surprised. Great win for the Knicks. Talk about saving the best for last. They've been unstoppable here at OT. Yeah, and with the teams playing even throughout four quarters, it's really hard to imagine such an uneven finale. And it's a performance that will signify their fifth win of the year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And, you know, against a conference opponent who you're going to see four times total on the season... A two to nothing advantage is pretty healthy. And while there were some guys out there that played well, what really stood out was the production for Jalen Brunson. You look forward to playing with someone who doesn't just move the ball, but moves it with a purpose. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Randall inside. He's guarded by Washington. Outside Brunson. Three-pointer. Good job by Rozier to get in position to challenge that shot there. Washington passes to Miller. Over Barrett. Miller can't get it to go. They've been a different squad here in overtime. I'm just not seeing the same energy level. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. They escape with the W, even though they needed a few extra minutes to pull it off. Yeah, and both teams gave their all. But when it came down to overtime, it was about who had more determination. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks so much. RJ, a great effort tonight. How is this team continuing to grow? We're playing defense and, and we're moving the ball. Everybody's in double figures. Everybody's scoring. Everybody's playing together. That's, that's how you win. When the ball's going in, things tend to turn into a victory. Thanks so much, RJ. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Jalen Brunson.